Hello viewers and welcome back to the Dukascopy TV studio. I'm Ben Jones and joining me today to discuss solar energy is Marco Northen from Etrion. Marco, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure, thank you, thank you for having me. So if we can begin by discussing solar energy statistics for 2013. For the first time they've surpassed wind, which is its fellow renewable energy source. What can this be attributed to? Is it a lot down to photovoltaic installations? Uh, it is a combination of factors, but I think you can really separate it into two very basic items. One is economics and the second is simplicity. Economics because the price of solar has dropped significantly since where we started and that is creating certain markets where we compete without any, source of any sources of uh, subsidies. Secondly, simplicity. In simplicity means that all we need is sun, but we can deploy these uh, systems anywhere without having problems in terms of permitting. It's much simpler than wind. Also, we don't need a special wind conditions. And therefore, in terms of deployment, it makes it easier. So if you have the right price, and you have a technology that is simpler to deploy, that's why the numbers are getting bigger, and that trend will continue to get better and better. Now, your company has numerous plants in Italy, and over the past year, we have seen almost 20% solar PV growth. It's almost on a par with Germany as the nation with the highest demand met by PV. Why is this? So, uh, the European Union said is a few years ago a mandate throughout all the EU member countries that they needed to meet 20% of renewable energy by 2020. Uh, so the different countries established a system called fitting tariff. And the countries that was most successful were both Germany and Italy. Actually, of the, today you have about 90 to about 100 gigawatts of solar installed in the world. Uh, Germany alone is 34%. And then Italy is the second largest, 16%. So it really has been the right implementation of the governments on implementing the right incentives for solar to develop. And that's why these two markets are so big. Mm -hmm. Now, Etrion has formed a partnership with Total SA and Solventus. You're going to have a huge plant in Chile that will be 70 megawatts, I believe. With Total SA joining Etrion, does it kind of emphasise that huge, big global energy companies are trying to find a balance between non-renewable and renewable energy sources? You see, if you want to be a player in energy in the long term, there is no looking back. You have to go into solar. And the reason is because today, solar can compete with other sources of energy without any subsidies. Especially in Chile, you mentioned this 70 megawatt project that we're building. We have no subsidies and we're competing with coal, with natural gas, with diesel. And that is today. And if you think about, we, our prices will continue to drop because it's all, all about manufacturing, uh, all about economies of scale. So our costs will continue to drop over time, where my competitors, other sources of energy, so their cost is always more complex, more difficult to get. So long term, if you want to be a main player in the energy sector, you have to have solar as part of your portfolio. And that's why companies like Total, actually even the Lundin family, which is one of our main investors who are traditionally from oil, gas, and natural resources, had also diversified into solar. So solar is here to stay. And if you're not here, you're not going to be here for the long term. So you have to be in solar. OK, and finally, looking into the future, do you think that PV prices will continue to fall? And if so, how will this affect concentrating solar plants? OK, so uh, just to give you a little bit of information, in, in 2007, solar was about $3 and a half per watt peak. It's the same number just to get an idea. Today, solar is about 0.75 cents. That's from 2007 to today. A significant drop in pricing. That price will continue to drop, maybe not at accelerated growth, but probably 5 to 10 percent per year. So that's why those numbers are trending in a very positive way. And that's why we believe that the, the, the solar will have a significant market share going forward in the future. About concentration of solar, it's really about how technology is developed. So it could be just traditional solar or more concentrated solar. It's all going to be about economics. And you will run the numbers. And in some cases, you may do concentration. In other cases, you do straight solar. 
but overall this whole sector will continue to grow tremendously over the next few years. Okay Marco, thank you for coming in today. Thank you Ben for having me, pleasure to be here. Not a problem. And viewers, thank you very much for joining us as well. That is all we have time for, but make sure you stay tuned to Dukascopy TV throughout the week for more updates and exclusive interviews. Goodbye.